This is Andrea from Adventures in Dreams, starting a new series of short videos. Each will highlight a beautiful location. Our first journey takes us to the float lands in the Adirondack Mountains. These mountains offer many activities in all seasons, but it is most famous for its endless hiking trails in valleys filled with lush vegetation, as well as tracks that reach the many peaks of this beautiful mountain area. On this trip we will explore the region of the float lands via a hiking trail that can be reached from the Upper Works Road. We finally get to see the Kalamati Brook up close. Because it is so clear, it could easily be used to filter water or take a quick swim. The easy hiking path quickly becomes more difficult after the late spring rains. And soon all eyes remain on the track to carefully step on logs in the mud or rocks along the way. It's almost like a game, picking the perfect path to avoid stepping into deep mud. Sometimes the best path takes you back a step or two before you can move forward again. And the hike that might otherwise be relatively easy becomes more strenuous with all the dodging and the backtracking. In many places it is simply unavoidable. The only way onward is through the deep mud. Kalamati Brook appears to be the trail for much of the last part of the hike to the float lands and there are many opportunities to admire it. The reflection of leaves and the sun mesmerize as we step across small bridges urging us to stop and admire the beauty of the water and land around us. Waterbugs play on the calm sections of the brook and looking closely it appears as if they are creating water angels on the surface. Have you ever stopped and watched the shadows they cast on the bottom of the creek? Quiet sections of the stream are quickly replaced by rushing water over the rocks. And it is the perfect location to discover the fascinating view below the surface. Light and the ripples of the water create beautiful patterns on the rocks and the sun highlights every speck of sediment in the calmer sections of the brook. Although fascinated by this underwater world, it is time to leave it behind and find beauty in the vast plant life of the Adirondacks. If you stop and look, you will discover many types of mosses under the trees. Soft to the touch, its fine structure is especially beautiful when looking up closely. Like every plant and animal, 
It plays an important part in the forest. It retains water, prevents erosion and serves as a habitat for small insects among many other things. Many wildflowers, ferns and scrubs can be found in the Adirondacks. And animals and insects of all sizes depend on these environments to stay intact. There are around 100 tree species alone in this region, and most of which can be found in the lower elevations such as this. As the muddy path continues, we pass the flowed lands to make a quick detour to Lake Colden, which provides many opportunities for camping and hiking. Mount Colden towers over the lake with 4,711 feet. The peak can be reached from the southern and the northern side of the mountain. With a controlled flow, the water passes through Colden Dam and back into the creek. As it continues down the stream, it eventually reaches the flowed lands, our final destination. Even from here, Mount Colden reaches high above the hills on this side of the lake, while hidden behind us are even taller mountains, such as the Algonquin Peak at 5,102 feet. As the sun hides behind the mountains, the songs of nature change and grow louder as the shadows rise to reach the peak. The chirping sounds of peepers fill the evening air as night falls. It is the perfect time and place to sit back and enjoy this beautiful location.
Hours later, deep sleep is abruptly ended by the calls of a gaggle of Canada geese passing over the forest. They are late arrivals after a long winter in the north. It is time to leave the float lands behind and hike back on the muddy trails along the Kalamati Brook. There are endless places to see in the Adirondacks, wildlife to discover and many wildflowers to admire. Spring is indeed one of the most beautiful seasons of the year, one of growth, of fresh greens all around and of new awakening beauty after months of snow. With the small family of Canada geese, we say goodbye to this beautiful land. For now. This is Andrea from Adventures and Dreams signing off. We will see you on the next adventure.